morning, Lena and I have been doing a project that involves trying to estimate the amount of carbon that's stored in different forms along rivers. And this is particularly important because people are now realizing that rivers are key in the global carbon cycle and the amount of carbon that reaches the oceans. So what we're doing here in Rocky Mountain National Park is looking at much less altered rivers and how much carbon they store, where and how it's stored, and the mechanisms responsible for that storage. 0.75 meters? Yeah. Sounds good. The GSA grant was really critical for me to carry out field work for the second portion of my PhD work. And the field work was really important for me to develop as a field scientist and also to actually collect the data I needed to carry out my PhD work and to have a better understanding of channel change and ties with the riparian ecology. I think the process of writing a GSA research grant helps students by really encouraging them to think and write very concisely and precisely and also think carefully about the significance of their work and why it would be of interest or importance to other people. So it's not just they're doing this to get a degree, they're doing it to add to the community store of knowledge and understanding of the natural world. Among the graduate students that I've advised over the years, uh, probably about 30 students have received funding from GSA and it's been very important in their professional development because of that process of writing the grant and knowing that it's a fairly uh, rigorous selection process. After I defend my PhD here in two months, I am moving to Sweden for a two-year postdoc where I'll be joining an interdisciplinary team looking at stream restoration under a changing climate 